genetic screening now first let's define that what is genetic screening it is a systemic search for a person with specific genotype and as i have told you that genotype is the genetic makeup of an individual and the physical appearance is known as phenotype for example if i say that the person has blue eyes it is its his or her phenotypic feature now there is a difference between genetic screening and genetic diagnosis genetic screening is uh, apply on the individuals on a group or on a population that show a risk of a particular disease then if we look at the genetic diagnosis definition then keep in mind that gene testing is related with the single allele uh, interaction or with multiple gene interactions so this is how we can differentiate between genetic diagnosis and genetic screening so genetic screening is applied to the individual to the groups or to the population of having the genetic disorder while gene testing is associated with the single allele interaction or with the multiple gene interactions now what is required for genetic screening it is simply the dna and dna is the genetic material of an individual it is the only requirement for genetic screening as we know that dna is the common thread of life so dna is a part of genetic screening and genetic screening is just an essence of humanity dna provide life its blue print for building replicating and surviving so these are all the functions of dna which is performed in our body once we know the structure and function of the dna we can completely understand the essence of a uh, human body now keep in mind that if we look at the structure of dna it consist of nucleotide base pairs phosphate group and deoxyribose sugar so dna condenses to form chromosomes and chromosomes have about more than each chromosome has about more than 100 genes and in a human being there are 23 pairs of chromosomes means 46 chromosomes are there in each individual then allelic pairs make up the gene and gene is the unit of heredity so dna is used in genetic screening that unlock the mystery of life number of ethical issues are related with genetic screening one of them are the religious issues and again the religious thinkers here believe that it is playing with the god so again playing god factor is involved in genetic screening then genetic screening is very much expensive and it can affect not only utilized by the rich community it can also affect the poor community of any country it can lead to different psychological and emotional distress to the individual for example anxiety depression loss of hope helpless loss of control on life now there is an ethical issue that whether genetic screening should be done for common diseases or not then there are two school of thoughts so one of them say that genetic screening is a part of medical record it should be a part of medical record because medical record is kept in special confidentiality and privacy so there is a unique relationship between the physician and the patient and we can't ignore the importance between them importance of this relationship because of this confidentiality patient can confidently share the issues with each other then the second school of thought says that genetic screening should not be part of the medical record kyunki aap dna sample na sirf blood sample se de sakte hain balki apne saliva se fingerprint se hand swab skin swab from anywhere else to kya guarantee hai ke agar hum blood sample dene se inkar kar dete hain to kya fingerprint jo hamara door pe यूज हुआ है क्या वो आगे जेनेटिक स्क्रीनिंग के लिए यूज नहीं हो सकता देन जेनेटिक स्क्रीनिंग इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड बाय सर्टन कंपनीज इफ देर इज इफ द वर्कर इज डीलिंग विद द हाई टॉक्सिसिटी लेवल सो इन सच केसेस कंपनी कैन डिनाई एम्प्लॉयमेंट 
then social services are uh, in major issues and insurances benefits can be denied by the insurance companies for giving the persons who are suffering from mutations.